In the 1530s, things began to change politically in Florence. The Medici Pope Clement VII made his nephew the first Duke of the city. And so the Republic became a monarchy. And although that first Duke, Alessandro de' Medici, had a short reign as Duke, it led to three and a half centuries of Medici dominance over the city. And in fact, this brought with this a change to the look of Florence, transforming it from a city filled with Republican monuments to one instead celebrating the royal family of the city. And so the second Duke of Florence, whose name was Cosimo, decided to move his family out of the former city hall, a building once known as the Palazzo della Signoria, today known as the Palazzo Vecchio instead, but also to move all of his administrative offices out of that former city hall as well, moving them into a new building, one that was constructed beginning in the 1560s and called the Uffizi Galleries. Today, the Uffizi, of course, celebrated as the world's most important museum for Italian medieval and Renaissance painting. But when it was constructed five centuries ago, was seen as the capital administrative building of what was the duchy, soon to become Grand Duchy of Tuscany instead. The architect here was Cosimo's court artist, Giorgio Vasari, who creates this beautiful basilica structure characterized by its gray Pietra Serena stone and its white stucco, a style introduced by Brunelleschi centuries before, but one, of course, that is unique to this extraordinary birthplace of the Renaissance, which is Florence. Mm -hmm.